review of Ophelia and the Marvelous Boy by Karen Foxley. And oh boy, oh boy, did I like this. Um, it's probably in my top three favorite kids books, which is saying a lot because I've read a lot of kids books. Um, so yeah, when I picked up this book, I didn't really know anything about it. I just, I was scrolling through the library website and just looking at different audiobooks. And this one stuck out to me because I thought that first of all the title was really interesting. Um, so I checked it out and started listening to it and unfortunately that didn't really work out that well. Um, the audiobook version is not that great, which is unfortunate because I really enjoy audiobooks um, quite a lot usually. Um, but the narrator's voice was just a little bit too soothing for me to actually stay awake the whole time. So um, I wouldn't recommend listening to the audiobook version, unfortunately. Um, but it was just enough to get me intrigued about the story, um, and I knew I was like it just because I got a general impression of it. Um, so having exhausted all other avenues, I tried the local bookstores and whatnot, um, I decided to buy the ebook version, which is something I don't do a lot of, um, just because I prefer physical books. So you know it's special if I buy the ebook version. Um, so anyway, the story starts in a museum. And this is a very interesting museum. It's sort of like, it's, a, it's like a giant mansion. Um, and it's got the rooms of teaspoons and mirrors and exhibitions on swords and all sorts of interesting things like that. Um, and the setting here was really interesting because it was almost personified, I found. Um, so that it became sort of like a character in and of itself, sort of a living, breathing um, entity. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting aspect of the writing. Um, it was how she portrayed setting. Um, so anyway, um, the main character, Ophelia, is a young, unassuming, scientifically minded girl. She's only about 11 years old, um, and she comes to this museum with her father and her older sister Alice um, right after their mother died um, for some of her father's work. He is a sword um, collector, master, expert. Expert, that's the right word. Um, so he's here to do a sword exhibition. Um, so whilst at this museum, um, Ophelia discovers this boy um, in the museum who is held prisoner by an evil Snow Queen, according to the boy. But Ophelia, um, who's being a very scientifically minded young woman, she does not believe in magic, so she has a hard time sort of buying his story. Um, but anyway, this boy is quite interesting. He was chosen, his story is that he was chosen by some wizards a while ago to be the bearer of a magical sword that would be the only thing that could defeat this evil Snow Queen um, and prevent her from taking over the world was if somebody killed her with this magical sword. So he was supposed to be the bearer of this sword and deliver it to the chosen person. They call it the One Other, I believe. Um, who would be then the person to kill the Snow Queen and prevent the world from being taken over. Um, but unfortunately things didn't really work out that well. He um, got a spell cast on him so that he lived for 300 years. Um, he was prisoner for a lot of that time. Um, he's lost his sword. He's got his name stolen so he doesn't actually have a name anymore. That's why he's called just the Marvelous Boy and not an actual name. Um, so he needs some help. And so here comes Ophelia, um, just a very, um, she's a, she's a very disbelieving young girl and she's has to somehow help this boy defeat the Snow Queen. Um, so she goes about trying to free him and she runs all over this museum and finds keys and does all sorts of interesting things like that. <sighs> So it's just, it's a fantastic story. Um, the way that Ophelia goes from being very stringently, she's almost like anti-magic, um, very stringently scientific, um, to a sort of expanding her world view and learning all sorts of different things that she never thought were possible. That in itself, I think, is magical. Um, the plot was pretty original. Um, and um, it just, it stood out from the crowd for me. 
And the characters were really memorable, with Ophelia being brave in a sort of quiet way, um, and then the Marvelous Boy being exceptionally good. He was just, that was, that was his sort of trademark, was he was good. Um, anyway, um, high praise from me. I'd give it a five out of five stars. Um, maybe even a five and a half out of five stars, if that's possible, just because I thought it was so fantastic. Um, but I'd be interested to know what you guys thought. I, from what I gather, it's not a super popular book, since none of the bookstores in Vancouver had a copy. Um, and I think it's only got 3.9 stars on Goodreads. So I'd be interested to know if any of you have read it, or if I've intrigued any of you guys with my review, because it really is, it was an awesome book. It would be a great read. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys next time. Bye!